In tonight's telecast, audio cast, story, script, we're talking about an immoral, illegal police officer that has been stalking a homeless person, not at all, that's been stalking a traveling man for many years across a state line. Several, in fact, to the point that he's using his other friends in law enforcement to abuse someone's life. He's actually entered in and out of his vehicle when he had one and stolen tools and other things from that man's life. At the present moment, he shaved his head so tight to wear glasses like that man so he can pretend to be him. But what he decided to do was play up to him today while he was talking to some man in some way to show the man how to give a donation and walk away. You see, many companies and many organizations are sort of doing a trick on some of their employees. They're saying, here, I'm going to give you something that we know that that individual over there needs. And I'm going to ask you to deliver it without any problems and without putting anyone ill at ease. Well, what happens is that person goes and does their thing, but they get caught in a conversation. Then they start to process the information that is either truthful or untruthful, as many conversations can be. And what they end up doing is changing the terms of agreement with their company. In other words, say a company decides to test the honesty and integrity of an employee. So they give that employee money to deliver to someone that they've sort of thoroughly researched and sort of sort of evaluated in terms of whether or not they feel as an organization the person is worthy. And usually it's someone who's impoverished or someone who has some needs and they send an employee to test them. They send that employee to either deliver food and they watch how that person has handled themselves or they send them some they send some sort of person to deliver money. And what ends up happening is that person who delivers money starts to process maybe I want the money maybe I'll take the money maybe I'll only give them part of the money maybe I'll only give them a small part of the money and maybe I'll keep most of the money what they end up doing is harming themselves because their task and their assignment was to deliver the money so they can tell themselves and lie to themselves and say I did deliver the money but maybe they didn't deliver the money to the right person or maybe they didn't deliver all the money because they wanted to keep some you see the liars of an American precinct the American government the American system, the American mental health and physical health system sends liars, not only to be tested, but to prove to themselves that they can't be trusted. A liar always steals money and always does it for his idea of what he thinks is funny. What may be true in the world of fact may seem untrue to a man who's naive.